If you only knew the power of the dark side. And here we have the undefeated, undisputed, lightweight champion of the world. He is Damien. The Juggernaut McLeod and Natty Lighting, baby. No physique update. <clears throat> Knocked off. It's been like shit three days since the last um the Natty Lighting video, the last little physique update. So I'm gonna throw a lot more of these in there, man. Just flex and talk to y'all real quick. Give y'all some tips. A little physique. <clears throat> Not shredded, not shredded, but looking real aesthetic. <sighs> real aesthetic. <sighs> trying to get it in, man, trying to get it in. 2018, we ain't playing. And I'm gonna stay lean all year round from now on. Because I've done extensive, I almost forgot the word, extensive studying on, you know, just the body and how it works. <sighs> when you know, when it comes to putting on fat during the bulk, man, you don't need hella fat. You don't need hella fat um, in your foods. You don't need hella fat in your diet in general. Putting on 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds of body fat to have a successful bulk. I would say 5 pounds maximum. That way, you know, you can um, you know, have a little ease in what you eat every so often. Keep it within 5 pounds if you have to dial it back. Dial it back beforehand. Keep really close track of your macros. Um, that's one of the most important parts of this game. If you're not willing to keep track of the macros, then you're really not serious about this whole thing when it comes to fitness, losing weight, building muscle, because it all goes hand in hand. When you master the basics like your protein, your fats, your carbs, um, when you master that, then you can eat, you can start to eyeball the, the food and you know, you get a better, accurate gauge of what you should be eating. You know what I'm saying? Not just portion size, but just knowing, okay, I had that much fat today. My body can only metabolize this much fat today. And another thing, your body, or let's just say maintenance, you know, by the FDA, they say the maintenance calories or anyone is 2,000 calories a day, right? Now, that's just a guesstimate. No one knows exactly what every each and each and every individual person's caloric intake is for maintenance for the day. It's a toss-up. Everyone is different. It's right around 2,000, give or take a few hundred. And let's just say Monday, it may be 2,000 on the dot. Tuesday, maybe 2,100, 2,200. You know what I'm saying? It all fluctuates due to what you've eaten the day before, your activity level, um, just your overall body composition, you know what I'm saying? If you have more body fat on you, your metabolism tends to kind of, it, it wants to fluctuate. It acts totally different than when you're lean. I'm not going to give any definites on that, but that's just how the body works. Every day is not the same. What you eat on this day affects how your metabolism works on this day. If you have a ton of crappy foods the day before, on Monday, let's say Monday, but you stay within your calorie range. Yet 2,000 calories worth of crap, right? That will affect how your body metabolizes the next day. So when you're eating whole foods, when you're eating your grains, your vitamins, you're getting all your macros in there, all your essentials, your body's gonna function at its most optimal level. So that's what this is all about, getting your, getting your body to function at its most optimal level. Because when you're functioning at your most optimal level, you now put yourself in a position to now put on more muscle mass or to lose more weight. Whatever it is, whatever part of the game you're in at that time, if you're eating correctly, your body's going to function like a machine, like a well-oiled machine. But if you're putting crap into your body, you know what I'm saying, on a consistent basis. Now, you know, you have your days where you say, you know what, man, I just really want a snicker bar. All right? You know that's about 240 calories, I believe, 240, 250, give or take. About 12 to 13 grams of fat. Um, I want to say 20 something carbs. I don't believe it's 40, but you know what I'm saying. You keep track of that shit. So you keep track of it. 
Now you say, okay, I had this, I had this at that time. Oh yeah, another thing, timing is also important. You don't want to eat all your food, like, like especially the heavier fatty foods. You kind of want to eat those like more during the early part of the day. And then, you know, during the nighttime, you know, when you're eating your big meals, you, you're going to want to eat something that's a little leaner on the fat side. The carbs is cool, but the carbs are energy. You're going to be just storing those carbs during the night. As glycogen, you're going to wake up nice and full. But you want to, you know, put your fats in kind of earlier in the day. Just don't go overboard with your fats. Your fats, that's what, you know, let's say, I'll say this. I know I'm getting real sporadic. There's so much knowledge. I don't want to put it all into one video. Your fats are what regulate your hormones, your testosterone levels. Your carbohydrates are pure energy. That's like gasoline in a vehicle. It's like pumping gas in your car. That's what the carbs are for. The protein is for building the muscle. All right. You have to have a, you have to have a right balance. You can't sit there and say, okay, I had 2,000 calories in a day, right? Say your maintenance um, fat level, let's just say 65 grams of fat per day. Now say you're eating a bunch of shit that you you stayed under 2,000 calories, but you had like 97 or 100 grams of fat in your food. So you're, you hit your 2,000, but the fats will appear. Either you didn't hit enough protein, because somewhere it was lacking. For you to hit that 2,000, but you hit 100 grams of fat, when you only should have had like 60, 65, that means you're either lacking in the carbs, more likely you're gonna be lacking in the protein. As you're eating foods that are high in fat, high in carb, you're gonna kinda get those to win. That means you're gonna be lacking in protein. And when I say you don't need two, three, 400 grams of protein a day, you don't. But you do need protein to put on solid muscle mass. So you don't want to under eat your protein. And you don't want to overdo it on your fat. You have to accurately gauge everything you do. Now that's a lot of information. I'm going to cut it right here. Flex up a little bit more. You know, to show you guys. Uh, boom. Bang. You know what I'm saying? But it's the science behind it. But you have to really want to be in this. If, you, if you're saying to yourself, oh man, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that part of it. That you're never really gonna get, you're never gonna reach your full potential. You're not. It's just not gonna happen. You're always gonna fall short. You're always gonna find yourself putting on more body fat than normal, than you want to at any given time. You won't be able to lose the weight the way you want to at any given time. So take this thing serious. Counting your macros, get you one of those apps, count the macros, that's a part of the game. It's just like lifting weights. You can't say, man, I want bigger biceps, but you don't work your biceps. You're not gonna get bigger biceps. You say you want to lose weight, but you don't understand the concept of macros, fats, um, carbohydrates, and protein, then you're just going to be lost in the game. You're always going to be making those same mistakes over and over and over until you take out the time and do things the right way. So, yeah, let me flex one more time. <clears throat> Natty fucking lighting. Let me move the light right here. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. <sighs> no, nope, that didn't help. It's too bright. Too bright. No, not enough shadows. <laughs> Put it right back here. Yeah, a little better. But anyway, so, with all that said, get to the gym. Do work. Muscle up. Signed, Gerald, I'm sincere. This year I'm in here, I'll spell it out to make things clear. And meanwhile, your end's near. I've got a lane and I'm in gear. You people wonder who's next up. That conversation really ends here. <laughs>